Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to do the Tunisian block stitch. Now you can start with any yarn of your choosing. I like to use two colors for this pattern and I'll also be using a four millimeter Tunisian crochet hook. Now we're gonna start the Tunisian block stitch by making a foundation chain that is a multiple of four plus three. Now in this case, I'm going to start with 15 chains. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And we're going to do a custom Tunisian foundation. So I'm going to pull up loops going across the row. So I'm going to insert my hook into the second chain from the hook and pull up a loop. And I'm going to do that going across the row. Now once finished, you should have the same number of loops on your hook as the foundation chains that we started with. So in this case, I should have 15 loops on my hook and I'm just gonna go ahead and count to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a standard Tunisian return pass. So chain one, and then yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to yarn over and pull through two until we only have one loop remaining on our hook. Now before completing the last stitch, I'm actually going to switch colors here. I'm going to switch it over to my white yarn. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull it through to complete the row. Now with the white yarn, I'm going to go ahead and complete two rows of simple stitches. To do a simple stitch, you'll see that we have a loop on our hook but you'll also see vertical bars going all the way across the row. We're gonna skip this first vertical bar here. The loop coming from that counts as our first stitch. And in the second vertical bar, we're going to insert our hook behind the bar and pull up a loop. And we're going to do that in each of the bars going across the row. This is a simple stitch. I'm going to complete it until we're at the end. Now in the last stitch here, instead of working or yarn, to the top of the bar here. I'm gonna turn our work to the side and you'll see that there is a front and back bar as well. We're going to work or hook through both. That's going to make the left side of our pattern really neat. So it's our closing stitch. We're going to pull up a loop and then we're going to complete the return pass the same as we did before. So chain one and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and we're going to do that until we only have one loop remaining on our hook.
Now I'm going to complete one more row of simple stitches. And I'm going to end the second row of simple stitches by switching the color back over to the pink here. Now I'm going to do my front post stitches for this row to create the block stitch pattern. Now to do that we're going to start by doing two simple stitches. So one here and another here. Now I'm going to do my first front post stitch. To do this, locate the vertical bar from three rows down. So it would be this bar right here from the row with the pink. I'm going to yarn over my hook. And if you take a closer look, you'll see this top vertical bar here, but you'll also notice that there is also a back bar that's right here. We're going to insert or hook behind both. And then we're going to pull up a loop. Now yarn over and pull through one, and then we're gonna yarn over and pull through two. And that's our first front post stitch. Now we're going to do three simple stitches. So insert your hook behind the next vertical bar and pull up a loop. And that's one, two, three. And in the next stitch, we're going to do another front post stitch. So yarn over your hook, and then we're going to insert our hook behind the front and back bar here yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first loop there, so pull through one, and then yarn over and pull through two. So that's our second front post stitch. We're going to do three more simple crochets. So that's one, two, three, and in the next stitch, a front post stitch. So I'm going to yarn over my hook, and complete a front post stitch in the same way that I did before. So I'm gonna pull up my loop, yarn over and pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. And for my last three stitches, I'm going to complete simple stitches here. So yarn, pull up a loop, pull up a loop, and then I'm going to do my barter stitch in the same way that I've done in the previous rows. So I'm going to insert my hook to the top and back bars here and pull up a loop. Now I'm going to do the return pass in the exact same way as I've done before. The return pass for this pattern does not change. So chain one. And then I'm going to yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two yarn over, pull through two, and I'm going to continue doing that until I only have one loop remaining on my hook. Now before closing out the round, I'm going to switch colors. So I'm gonna take my white, close out the round here with one loop remaining on the hook. 
Now with the white, what we'll always do is two rows of simple stitches. So I'm going to proceed by creating two rows of simple stitches with the white yarn. Now I'm almost finished with my second row of simple stitches. So and I'm going to just switch colors here to change it back to the pink. Now every time we switch colors after doing two rows of the white of simple stitches, you'll know that this is the row where we do our front post stitches. So we always start that row by doing two simple stitches to start. One, two, and then We'll locate the vertical bar of the last row that we did the front post stitch in. So the last row that we would have done in pink, which is here. We're gonna yarn over our hook, insert our hook behind the stitch, like that. Pull up a loop yarn over and pull through one, yarn over and pull through two, and then complete three simple stitches. So one, two, three, and in the next stitch we're going to locate the row that we did in pink, which is here. And then I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook behind the stitch, and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through one, yarn over and pull through two, and repeat. And then in the last stitches here, we're going to complete two simple stitches and then our border stitch at the end. And then we're going to complete our return pass as normal. And of course, for the last two loops, I'm going to switch colors. And then I'm pretty much going to repeat this pattern. So go ahead and complete two rows of Tunisian simple stitches. And then we're going to do our rows with the front post stitch. And that's how you do it until you're at your desired length. Now this is how it looks on a larger sample. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Until next time, bye.